Okay, so this is a tutorial for how to collect a measurement with the NIRS Portamon device. Uh, before you start, just make sure that the red USB key is plugged into the computer and that the Bluetooth USB key is plugged into the computer. Uh, also make sure that the Portamon is on and make sure that the battery, uh, the battery life is sufficient so that you can do a full measurement. The first thing I'm going to do is click File, New. So it'll start a new file for us. We're going to go to Project and DAQ Measurement Wizard. From here I'm going to name the file. So for this we'll just call it NIRS Tutorial Video. And I'm going to put the date. The next thing we have to do is name the file. It'll be an Oxy3 file. I'm going to call it the same thing that I just called that. So NIRS video tutorial. And that's in the folder NIRS data. Here I'll click next. This is the part where the computer will connect with the device. That happened automatically. They are connected by Bluetooth. On this screen, what you're going to do is click Filter, uncheck TSI, and check Portalite. Hit OK. We also want to make sure that the DPF is set at 4, which it should be automatically. If it's not, you can change that easily. Next, the screen is OK. I'm going to hit Next. And here you can choose the sample rate. So we're going to go with 10 Hz. That's usually what you'll want to collect data at. And then it's going to give me the option to start measurement after finishing wizard. So I'll click Finish. Here you can select which traces you want to view. So we're going to use oxyhemoglobin, deoxyhemoglobin, total hemoglobin, and TSI percent. So this is all of our all of our graphs that we're going to need here. First thing I'm going to do is make it so that we can see everything on this screen. You'll notice that there's one graph hidden back here. That's our TSI graph. I'm just going to move that up here so we can see everything. Now before we get ready to collect the measurement, we're going to add two more indicator views onto this um, onto the screen. So I'm going to click right click on NIRS to this folder here. We're going to go create indicator view. The first one is going to be called TSI. I'll hit OK. And then I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to resize that. Put it right there. Now I'm going to right click on that box. And I'm going to add an indicator. So what you're going to do is click on right here this little circle with the G above it, one click, and then I'm going to switch from channel A to transformation A, and the transformation is going to be TSI percent, and I'll hit OK. So that's our TSI percent. We'll be able to see that in real time while we're collecting the measurement. Now I'm going to add one more indicator view. So again, right click on the folder, create indicator view. This one will be called QCF. Double click, add indicator. Again, click on the circle with the G over to transformation A. And the transformation we're going to choose will be TCI QCF. And I'll hit OK. So like I said before, the TSI up here allows us to monitor the TSI in real time. This one here gives us a quality factor of the measurement that we're getting. When we attach the probe to the participant, we're going to want this to be 1.00. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to this moon here. It has to be on the, the TSI window. And I'm going to click the moon. You'll notice that power just went off over here. 
So right now the device is recording. However, by turning that off, that allows us the time to attach the probe to the participant. So I'm going to just put that on my arm quickly. So when the probe is attached and sufficiently covered to block out ambient light, what you're going to do is come back over here and click this little icon that says muscle. So I'm going to click on that. Our quality control went to 1. Our TSI is at 77. Now before we start our actual measurement, what you need to do is click the button F6 and this will reset the signal to zero, to baseline. So I'm going to click that now. You see everything went back to baseline in all these graphs. QCF is one, so we're good to go and start collecting our measurement. So when you're ready to start exercise, you're going to want to put an event in that will show the exercise has started. So to do that, you're going to click F6, or excuse me, F4. As soon as you click F4, the event will be uh, the event will be input, and all you have to do is name it. So we'll call this one Start Exercise. Click OK. So let's pretend I've done the exercise. Now I'm going to hit F4 again, and our next event is going to be End Exercise. I'll click OK, and when I'm ready to stop recording, I'm going to click this button up here that says Stop Device. And this gives us a nice output of the recording that we just took. Now, final steps. What you're going to want to do is go File, Save As. If you remember before, we saved an Oxy3 file. Now we're going to save an OxyProj file. We need to have both of them saved into the same spot, the same folder on the computer, and they need to have the same name. So I'm going to type in just an N. This comes up. I'll click on that. That's what we titled the Oxy3 file, but I'll just delete this part. So now they, the Oxy3 and the OxyProj files have the same name. I'll click Save. And finally, if you want to export these results to Excel, we'll go to File, Export. MS Excel. I'm going to browse for a file destination. I want it to be in the same folder and with the same name as the Oxy3 and OxyProj files. So there's my N. There's that. Delete the file tag. And I'm going to click Save. Next, you want a graph data of open graphs. Next. I'm going to start the export at event A. I'm going to end the export at event B. And start export. <clears throat> now if you'd like to see what this all looks like in an Excel file, we'll go to the desktop. The folder was NIRS data. And here's our Excel file. You can ignore this by hitting yes to get to the Excel file. So always hit yes here. And there's our file. So here's our legend showing the different traces that we have. In column 12 here, you see our events. So we know where we are in the file. And we can mostly focus on the TSI here. So uh, trace number two is our TSI. And you can do what you like with this data. And that's it.